Alrighty, this is a this is a pivotal moment. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> so trying to breathe, you know, because I'm supposed to be at work at 7:30, and it's 8:30 with this hour commute I have, and now it's 8:48, which is even worse. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling all the emotions coming back. Yesterday, I was so, so out of it that I didn't even know what was going on. So it was kind of like fun to be at work because I was just so effed up. <laughs> but I came back after Arizona and I have a cold and I'm happy to be back in my own bed, in my own car, but yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm inspired, just a tad bit. But I do know, realistically, the rental car and accommodation is a lot of cash, especially nowadays. So I have to be extremely intentional about how I do that next time. I winged it and I, I was okay I could have went to Hawaii or Mexico, but I felt my body was just running and it didn't feel good. And I feel like I need to just take care of my needs and prioritize sleep and myself and my space. And you can do that anywhere. Um, it doesn't have to be on a crazy vacation, you know, away from this. This is its own bottle of chaos, <laughs> but I am ready to take that leap of faith and get out of my comfort zone and quit my job very soon. But, you know, the clarity on what's next is definitely not necessarily open. And yeah, man, it's, uh, it's very interesting, um, to say the least of what, what is possible. And the high vibe people I was around and the decisions I made, you know, I could have, I could have technically stayed out there if I really wanted to. And then done a work away in Mexico and then gone to Hawaii and then gone back to Arizona for the internship. However, I didn't feel like that was in the cards. You know, that, that's, that's where my inner conflict is. Um, Yeah, so I know some people that travel the world and do all these different things, and I think, I think yeah, like I have the confidence, but I also have resistance, knowing the money and safety and health concerns, and you know, really weighing out the pros and the cons is it worth it, and why, what my intention is for the traveling, and I think it's not crystal clear. It's kind of like I'm getting a lot of the negatives of like, just like going, like just send, 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 send. And then I'm, I'm being like blessed with all the different like synchronicities and just like just the fun aliveness of life. Right. I mean, now I'm, I'm off the highway doing the detour route, but feel in my chest you know I could have I really wanted to call out today you know I'm sick and it's rainy and it's a long commute you know like that alone but and I have my my Wednesday review tomorrow and you know I was already out Friday and I left early Thursday and left early Monday so I'm late today so I'm really not putting a complete full day in and part of it's because I'm just exhausted and part of it's because of my commute and Anyway, what a disaster. You know, Arizona was cool. I, I got some nice like drive time and nice uh, alone time in my room. And But overall, I was sleeping five hours a night and that was fine. You know, I guess that's kind of what happens when you're on vacation, but there's only so much I can take of that. I need that reset. And I, I, that's the biggest thing for traveling for me is how can I make it a holistic time? And I already did that. Um, 
with the retreat, you know, I want that for the entire time. I don't want the crazy drinking scene and party scene. And I guess I just have to ask myself, how can I recharge and um, set the boundaries and keep my energy right and have a good social time, but also myself time. And I'm still trying to find that delicate balance. And I mean, a weekend is like a perfect amount of time um, because it's like when I was at the island with my friends, after three or four days, we got sick of each other and we got sick of not sleeping and we got sick of our comfortable routine. So, you know, but this ain't it. This ain't it. This is ridiculous. I'm, I'm getting not paid right now. I'm wasting my gas and I'm doing the same thing over and over with the students. And, you know, something does have to give, you know, I got the death card yesterday and it's really it's really unfortunate. Um, you know, maybe I, I tell the truth, you know, say I'm sick and, 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 and take, and take that, you know, that me time today. I mean, but I'm doing nothing at work anyway, you know, and that's the hard truth also. So yeah, these are long weeks, five days commuting. It's not cool. So that's where I'm at, but do I really want to get financial services? No. Do I want to take the leap into a holistic health path? Yeah. But for body and brain, I'm not sure. For myself, I'm not sure. I do feel like there's kind of like an, a not a hell yes right now. So I'm going to keep feeling into that. And hopefully I can get the creativity when I'm out of survival mode and into living mode. And I can continue to heal with my chiropractor and nutritionist to help my ailments in my body that make me feel like I'm not where I want to be. So, but overall, you know, we're, we're on the path. It's just, uh, it's just not, uh, it's not as, uh, linear as, uh, as, as, as some people may think it can be. So definitely me chatting about my you know, ups and downs, um, along traveling and happy to share this to YouTube and keep my conscious conversations going and, um, connect with more business people and like-minded individuals that want to keep, uh, keep killing, killing the game and, and not letting, uh, the matrix get the best of them, you know? So, <sighs> yeah, I mean, I feel it right now. There's a lot of suppressed energy that is just trapped in my chest from just this commute it's like whew, you know i'm playing the logical song by super tramp and it's like is this really the logical thing you know it's it's really not at the end of the day um because of all the all the all the cons going on and i'm i'm very curious to see how my vacation time will be uh will be uh you know approached here I didn't get a good answer from HR, um, but I wonder if it would have carried over if I quit, you know, it all would have worked out, but you know, it's just a matter of gauging, but yeah, it's rainy here now. And it's like, what are you doing here? And, but at the same time, it's like, no, this is an opportunity to, to go in my shadow self and to heal my family wounds. And so every, every decision and opportunity is, is really, is okay. You know? each scenario I'm happy with what, 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 what goes on. Um, just got to close the bow tie and, and, uh, is there a car coming? No, look at that. Now I get the peace road for a second, but my, oh my, you know, that is really my tangent and rabbit hole on it. I really want to be diligent and sincere about how I, how I kept going into it. Um, I booked the flight 24 hours in advance, both, both times. And to take a red eye and to go from Boston Logan to the silver line, to the red line to work, that was something I've never, ever done. And I do want to applaud myself, even if it was my ego taking over. And right now it feels like the ego too, and I shouldn't be in my nourishing feminine side and I'm really just not not taking care of that need and I think it's gonna be shown today 
Um, but I'm getting that seven hours of cash, you know, and so be it, right? So be it. But thanks for, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate the ability to, um, just come on on here and, and it's better, it's better than journaling. It really, it, it really does work wonders for my soul and what I, I want and who I am in this life. And uh, I continue to want to embody that as much as possible. So, um, so the growth can happen and I can say I'm not in my past, but I'm in my future. So thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Keep being gentle with yourself and soften up is my advice for myself. And I, I invite everyone else to do the same and, uh, see what magic can happen. So thanks.